So good morning. It's coming around to 18 minutes to nine before we get going with our stories. Can I just mention, if you were listening a few weeks ago, you'll have heard Tim at this point in the program mention 8-5 day. Well, oh, yeah. we've advanced from that because it's now 7-6 day. So huge celebrations for that, yes. I think, today. And it's all good news as uh, spring approaches. That means now the sun is rising before 7 o'clock and setting after 6 o'clock. So it's another little advancement. And we've really noticed, haven't we, the days stretching out, particularly in the mornings. I think because of our hours especially yes we're very very sensitive to those very very slight changes it makes all the difference really the the last few days in particular it's been really really lighter when we come in which is nice it certainly is and just (laughs) over three weeks to go until the clocks go forward i think it's the 28th into the 29th of march so let's get cracking then and sean you have news of a big tv return yes this has just actually been announced in the last hour or so britbox which is the uh the kind of joint streaming service from the itv and the BBC, they have announced their first original commission and by original it's actually a kind of a reboot because they are bringing back Spitting Image. Oh brilliant. Which oh, that'll uh, go down well won't I it? I think so yes yeah. they've already started work on the puppets so if you're not familiar Spitting Image a kind of satirical puppet show taking the mick out of uh, current issues and topics and things like that so um, they've already started work on Dominic Cummings obviously Boris Johnson's uh, sidekick uh, James Corden, Donald Trump, RuPaul, Boris Johnson, obviously, Beyonce, uh, Prince Andrew, that oh, could yes. be a bit dangerous, oh, <laughs> Adele, Ooh. and uh, Vladimir Putin. Oh. Uh, what a collection of people. Excellent, That's an odd yes. dinner party, isn't it? <laughs> Tell you what, I loved Spitting Image. I think it ran from sort of mid-80s to the mid-90s originally. Sunday nights it used to be on, on ITV. Uh, and it was sort of merciless in its um, executions. Yes. You know, the, the royal family certainly copped it. Sounds like they will do again in this mm-hmm. uh, remake. And uh, newsreaders suffered as well. Uh, Alistair oh, yeah, Burnett, who was a big <laughs> newsreader in the 80s, and uh, Martin Lewis and people like that. I mean, there was... And who was it they portrayed? as a slug which politician was it Norman Lamont or someone like that that Uh, rings a vague bell yes trying to remember and John Major was always grey just a completely grey puppet (laughs) so yeah there were no holds barred so this will be on Britbox then it's going to be on Britbox it's going to be out in the autumn and they're already planning a second season which will be out next year excellent we've got Britbox and there's some great classic stuff on there Yeah, yeah really good so yeah looking forward to that loved it back in the day well mine sort of goes fairly well because it's another sort of return to something although not in TV this is music and I'm sure there are a fair few fans of this band out there maybe here too you could be like a Ben Spanger here guess the band a very a lot a lot of big hits and they're one of the members very very famous following his band it's Phil Collins and uh-huh. Genesis are to reunite for a UK tour 13 years after their last show it's been 13 years since they last played Blimey. together Uh, Despite uh, Phil Collins, though, uh, 69, admitted he can't drum since his back surgery. Yeah, he was quite sick a few years ago. He had to cancel some shows, I think, so he's been a bit under the weather. Of course, so so well known for his drumming, especially in the air tonight. And there's so many hits. I I think this is very exciting. I think people get made fun of for liking Genesis, but I love them. I'm I'm, not ashamed. Oh, definite guilty pleasure. I'm I'm with you. I grew up on Genesis, definitely. (laughs) It's always uh, that thing between Phil Collins' solo hits and and the sound of Genesis as well. so similar, aren't they? Yes, it's hard to tell sometimes. I'm often not quite sure which one's which, but I love it. I love the cheesy stuff as well. Oh, definitely. Presumably Mike Rutherford uh, will be part of this reunion. Yeah, of course. And Tony Banks, all 69, actually. They're all the same age. There you go. And I think Mike Rutherford it's still going strong with Mike and the Mechanics. They're still producing yes, music as well, so Although, they're busy boys. Sorry, I just have to correct that. Peter Gabriel's 70, but he's not expected to be involved. That would be something if you could get Peter Gabriel and yeah. Phil Collins in this reunion, but I don't know whether that will it ever happen. It doesn't look like it. Uh, it's, it's not, you never know, you never know. It's not expected to be involved, so you never know. So they're doing some live shows then? Is yeah, that 30, the, yeah. Uh, a tour, a tour around the UK. So uh, yet to be finalised and all the detail to be given out, but I'm sure we'll be watching closely. Oh, we will. Land of Confusion is my favourite Genesis. I just think it's such a big, powerful 80s mm. song. Love it. So all good news. And uh, finally, from me, speaking of guilty pleasures, you know I still love Neighbours. Yes. And so many people <laughs> say, is it still on TV? It is. It's on Channel 5 twice a day. <laughs> and sorry. look at this. Look Tw- at, sorry, twice a day. Twice a day. Oh, and they've got some <laughs> late night specials coming up 
for oh, the lovely. 35th anniversary in a few weeks. All right, there's going to be all sorts going on. Lots of returning Can't characters. I tell you, it's all happening. I digress because Carl and Susan are coming to Ireland to film some scenes for the show. This that's Ireland, not I, the island. No, that's it. Ireland <laughs> uh, across the water. That's it, the Republic of Ireland there. Uh, they're going to be there. Carl and Susan, they're keeping very tight-lipped about what the storyline will be. But Kennedy, of course, they think they might be sort of tracing their roots, uh, Carl's family and all that kind of thing. They filmed um, sort of this side of the world a number of times in London, yes, notably. I yeah. remember that. Carl's been in London before, hasn't he? Carl and Susan got remarried on a boat on the Thames about... <laughs> About 15 years ago. This so. is your oh, so for the 20th subject, anniversary. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I think, yeah, yeah, I could do Mastermind on Neighbours. So all very tight-lipped. But uh, yeah, if you're knocking around Ireland in the next few weeks, keep your eyes peeled. You might see some rather recognisable faces there.